Good evening, you are watching the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. First, the headlines. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos, Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, confers Oman Military Order 2nd and 3rd Class on British Chief of Naval Staff and on former Chairman of Sultan's Armed Forces Association. His Highness Sayyid Fahad bin Mahmoud Al Saeed participates in the opening ceremony of Qatar National Library. And the Ministry of Transport and Communications announces that the entire Batna Expressway is to be opened on 7th of May. Those were the headlines now for the news in detail. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos has sent a cable of greetings to His Excellency President Emerson Monangagwa of Zimbabwe on his country's independence anniversary. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, has conferred Oman Military Order Second Class on Admiral Sir Philip Jones, Sea Lord and Chief of Naval Staff in the United Kingdom, who is currently visiting the Sultanate in recognition of his efforts and contributions to strengthen the military cooperation between the two countries. The order was handed over by His Excellency Sayyid Badr bin Saud bin Harab al Busaidi, Minister Responsible for Defense Affairs, when he received him in his office at Beit al Falaj camp today. Meanwhile, His Majesty Sultan Qaboos, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, has conferred Oman Military Order 3rd Class on retired Colonel Nigel Noker, former chairman of Sultan's Armed Forces Association, in recognition of his efforts during his work period in the association. The order was handed over by His Excellency Sayyid Badr bin Saud bin Harab al Busaidi, Minister Responsible for Defense Affairs, when he received him in his office at Beit al Falaj today. His Highness Sayyid Fahad bin Mahmoud Al Saeed, Deputy Prime Minister for the Council of Ministers, participated in the opening ceremony of Qatar National Library in Doha in response to an invitation from the Qatari leadership. The library was opened by His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, Emir of the State of Qatar, with the attendance of a number of representatives of His Highness and top government officials. His Highness, the Deputy Prime Minister for the Council of Ministers, was accompanied by his Excellency Yusuf bin Alawi bin Abdullah, Minister Responsible for, the, for Foreign Affairs, Her Excellency Madiha bin Ahmed al Shaybaniya, Minister of Education, His Excellency Sheikh Al Fadl bin Muhammad Al Harthi, Secretary General of the Council of Ministers, and a number of government officials. The new building of the library is designed to fit for various society segments, including the disabled, and the high standard library will provide not only books to the public but also other services like lectures, educational programs and training workshops and discussion, discussion sessions. The library has more than 1.2 million books which meet the needs of various categories of readers and researchers. The construction of the building took almost five years to finish and it uses the latest digital technology in the field of information and libraries. His Highness Sayyid Fahad bin Mahmoud Al Saeed, Deputy Prime Minister for the Council of Ministers, returned to the Sultanate after leading a delegation to the 29th Arab Summit, which was held in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia on behalf of His Majesty the Sultan. His Highness was also participated at the Qatar National Library opening ceremony in Doha in response to an invitation from the Qatari leadership. His Highness was seen off in Doha by His Excellency Sheikh Abdullah bin Nasser Al Thani, Prime Minister and Minister of Interior. His Highness Sayyid Fahad sent a cable of greetings to His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, Amir of Qatar, and top officials there, in which he included his greetings on the opening of the Qatar National Library, praying to, to the Almighty Allah to fulfill the aspirations of the Qatari nation under its wise leadership. His Highness also expressed his appreciation for the Qatari leadership and nation for their hospitality and warm welcome. Upon arrival, His Highness was received by Her Excellency Dr. Rawia bin Saud Al Busaidiya, Minister of Higher Education, His Excellency Dr. Ahmed bin Muhammad Al Aftaisi, Minister of Transport and Communications, His Excellency Sayyid Saud bin Hilal Al Busaidi, Minister of State and Governor of Masqat, 
His Excellency Mohammed bin Salim al Toubi, Minister of Environment and Climate Affairs. His Excellency Dr. Abdul Manam bin Mansour Lahsani, Minister of Information. And His Excellency the Charge the Affairs at the Qatari Embassy in the Sultanate. 7th of May is the date of inauguration of the 270 kilometers long Batna Express Highway. The new highway, considered first of its kind in the Sultanate with four lanes, will enhance economic development and facilitate traffic movement from Halban intersections in the Wilaya of Nakhal in the Governorate of South Batna until Khatmat Milaha in the Wilaya of Shinas in the Governorate of North Batna. Al Batna Expressway is the extension to Muscat Expressway and a new tributary for roads connecting the governorates of South and North Batna. It includes seven flyovers, 23 intersections, and 31 wadi over bridges. The project is one of the huge development projects within the eighth five year plan and one of the economic pillars that work on facilitating traffic movement between the governorates of Muscat, South, and North Batna as it passes through Suhar port. In addition, it will work to enhance trade activities between the Sultanate and the neighboring countries. The Ministry of Transport and Communications opened a part of Rostak Heights dual carriageway project for traffic movement. The project is about 32 kilometers long and it is a vital project that will activate economic and touristic aspects as well as facilitate traffic movement. The track of the road will also go through mountains in the area, which will reveal the beautiful nature and touristic landscape of the Governorate of South Batana. The Shura Council approved the articles at which there is a disagreement with the State Council regarding commercial companies' law. It also approved during its session today the draft law of wastewater organization and treatment so as to use it in agriculture as well as irrigation of public gardens and touristic places, in addition for industrial and commercial purposes. The Council decided to delay the discussion of the report of Commercial Committee on performance of some government companies until tomorrow's session. The Social Committee at the State Council during its meeting today discussed topics related to protection of children from accidents with a number of officials from the Ministry of Health. During the meeting, they reviewed the level of coordination between the Ministry and other bodies to limit such accidents, in addition to the procedures and proposals that contribute in this matter, such as changing the laws, regulations and housing schemes. The meeting also focused on programs available to protect the children and their effectiveness in spreading awareness. Still to come in our news bulletin. The Ministry of Tourism will establish new projects in the Governorate of Mosendam to keep up with the increased touristic activities. Welcome back to the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. Lieutenant General Ahmed bin Harith and Nabhani, Chief of Staff of the Sultan's Armed Forces, received today in his office at Muaskar al murtafa Admiral Sir Philip Jones, Sea Lord and Chief of Naval Staff in the United Kingdom. The meeting reviewed the existing military relations between the Sultanate and the UK and discussed a number of matters of common concern. Admiral Sir Philip Jones, Sea Lord and Chief of Naval Staff in the United Kingdom, visited the Sultan's Armed Forces Museum in Beit al felaj During the visit, the guest toured the museum and got acquainted with the manuscripts and historical miniatures that highlight the Omani architecture. He was also briefed about the development stages of the Sultan's Armed Forces 
under the, the prosperous era of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces. At the end of the visit, the guest expressed his admiration of the ancient military heritage in the Sultanate. Developing Khor al battah in the Wilaya of Sur in the Governorate of South Sharqiyya was one of the main topics in the meeting of the Technical Committee concerned with urban planning in the Ministry of Housing. The committee also reviewed other technical themes and topics concerning urban planning in all governorates of the Sultanate. The meeting was chaired by His Excellency Engineer Saif bin Amr al-Shakhsi, Under Secretary of Housing and Head of the Committee. The Public Authority for Electricity and Water and the Omani Broadband Company signed a cooperation agreement regarding the usage of the authority's project's infrastructure to deliver broadband services. The agreement will contribute in facilitating extension of optic fiber cables for various projects such as water network in the wilayas of Wadi Al Ma'awil, Nakhal and Al Awabi as they will be covered by broadband services in the coming period. His Excellency Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Mahruqi, Chairman of the Authority, signed the agreement with His Excellency Saeed bin Abdullah Al Mandiri, Chairman of Oman Broadband Company. The Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries Wealth issued a decision to ban the importation of live birds with their products, derivatives, and wastes from Ghana, Afghanistan, Cyprus, and Cote d'Ivoire. The ministry also issued a decision to lift the ban of importation of live birds and their products from Croatia, Slovakia, Laos, Togo and Zimbabwe. The decision comes after the recommendation of competent veterinary authority to eliminate the reason for banning the importation of the above said products from some countries. The project of our smart environment, which will contribute in limiting pollution from factories, especially fuel factories, is the winning project in innovation category for private schools. During the honoring of winning schools and students in the competition, a number of innovative projects which will support the society in this cause were presented by students. The inauguration ceremony was presided over by His Excellency Sheikh Salem bin Mistahil al Mashani, advisor at the Diwan of the Royal Court. The role of health guide in protecting from chronic non-communicable diseases was the theme of a workshop organized by the Directorate General of Primary Health Care at the Ministry of Health. The workshop included lectures on the health guide, role of health education in protecting from such diseases and the importance of physical activity in promoting healthy lifestyle. His Excellency Sayyid Mohammed bin Sultan al Busaidi, Minister of State and Governor of the FAR, met today affiliates of the fifth batch of the National Defense College at the Hall of Training Center at the Human Resources Development in Ad Dahariz. During the meeting, three work papers were presented on the stages of developing the organizational structure of the Minister of State and Governor of the FAR office, in addition to its development, role, geographical location, and its effect on development in the governorate. Attendees also viewed a visual show entitled Towards Sustainable Development in the Governorate of Dufar. The Ministry of Tourism agreed to establish nine hotels and resorts in the Governorate of Musandam to keep up with the increased touristic activity in the Governorate, distinguished by its beautiful sandy beaches overlooking huge mountains, lagoons, islands and bays which provide a proper environment for dolphins and other sea creatures. The latest statistics reveal that the tourism growth in the Governorate of Musandam reached more than 5.3% in 2017. The number of visitors to the Governorate by Deba and Khazab ports exceeded 170,000 in 2017 compared to 161,000 tourists in the same period in 2016. Meanwhile, the number of companies and institutions working in the tourism sector reached 26. The Governorate is also known for its historical and archaeological sites that contribute in attracting visitors and tourists keen to get acquainted with the numerous towers, castles and other landmarks located in the four wilayas of Musandam.
This is the Sultanate of Oman Television. Before we end tonight's bulletins, here are the main headlines once again. His Majesty Sultan Qabu, Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, confers Oman Military Orders Second and Third Class on British Chief of Naval Staff and on former Chairman of Sultan's Armed Forces Association. His Highness Sayyid Fahad bin Mahmoud Al Saeed participates in the opening ceremony of Qatar National Library. And the Ministry of Transport and Communications announces that the entire Batna Expressway is to be opened on the 7th of May. With that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin from all of us here at the newsroom and the studios. It's good night.